A new report from the Washington Post this past Friday says that there is growing panic and alarm within the Republican Party as the MAGA movement is apparently starting to fracture from the inside out. What's happening, according to the report, is that starting on July 15th, the Republicans, Donald Trump, his campaign, they're all going to get together after their convention. And what they're going to do is come up with a party platform. Now, Trump and his MAGA stronghold folks, they believe that the party platform, which the party has not released in the last four years, uh, we're just going to say abortion is an issue for the states to decide. Well, your hardliners with the evangelical right say, absolutely not. We're not going to be a part of it. If you're going to do that, then we're not going to support you. So there is this fracture inside of the Republican party, the MAGA movement, all of it over that issue that ironically enough, they use to fracture the American public. And now it's fracturing them from the inside. So, you know, poetic justice there, but here's what the report says. In the face of activist backlash, Trump's advisors have barred the press and C-SPAN cameras from next week's scheduled meetings of the platform committee, a break in tradition that has alarmed some delegates. The escalating behind the scenes disagreement over the abortion language has become so tense and acrimonious in recent weeks that some social conservative leaders have issued public warnings of a coming split with Trump's coalition. Others have started to discuss an effort to issue a quote minority report to the platform at the convention, according to the people involved who like others for this story spoke on the condition of anonymity to describe private conversations. External pressure has outraged Trump's advisors who think he should stick to his state by state position and annoyed allies who told the post they expect evangelicals to walk the line, no matter what platform the former president presents. And of course, if Trump wants it this way, Trump's going to get his way, right? He controls the RNC. He is their nominee. This is what he says. This is what you're going to have to do. And that's, what's pissing off the evangelicals. You have uh, uh, Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony pro-life America, who said this, if the Trump campaign decides to remove national protections for the unborn in the GOP platform, it would be a miscalculation that would hurt party unity and destroy pro-life enthusiasm between now and the election. We are now just one business day away from the platform committee meeting and no assurances have been made. Instead, every indication is that the campaign will muscle through changes behind closed doors. Then you had Tony Perkins, right? President of the family research council who said, I am very concerned about closing down the process. The Republican party should not be operating as we point out the left so often does wanting to silence opposition. Well, that's your party. You deal with it, right? Like, why are you making this anybody else's problem? We're not doing this. This is all you and be like, well, this is what the left usually does. First of all, bull crap. Second of all, who cares? Y'all have disagreements with your nominee. Y'all supported him up to this point. You helped elevate him to this position. And now you're like, well, we're not getting what we want. What did you expect? This is not a typical politician. This is an egotistical mega, uh, mega maniacal a-hole basically. I mean, you know, for lack of a better word, who does whatever the hell he wants to do on any given day. And the next day it may change to the exact opposite but y'all knew that it's not like Trump is hitting this. It's not like he just became this person. It's who he's always been. And you were fine with it up until this point. And to be honest on the issue of abortion, Trump's stance while still not popular is still more popular than your complete and total nationwide abortion ban. So if y'all want to run on your platform, I encourage you to do it because it's going to send voters, even some conservative voters running to the left. So if y'all want to tank your party from the inside, God knows I'm not going to stop you, but just know it's not going to end the way that you think it's going to end. Hey everybody. I don't know if you've noticed this, but we are closing in on a pretty major milestone here at fair and balanced as we approach 500,000 subscribers but we're not there yet. And we definitely need your support. So if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget like and comment on the videos and share them as widely as possible.